I'm sorry that I'm taking over, but um, how does it make you feel to fight for the championship? I'm like, just some personal point. It's, um, I remember it was really exciting first time in 2000, um, 15 years ago when I was fighting Chris Bird for the title. And uh, I, I remember the feelings and second time against Chris Bird 2006 as, as well. And again, uh, I just want to know on, uh, on that standpoint. So how do you feel about it? Is it challenging? Is it exciting? Obviously challenging and exciting, but w what are your thoughts on it? Also eine Frage an Thais, wie fühlst du dich eigentlich jetzt vor dem WM-Kampf? Ich kann mich noch gut erinnern, wie ich mich gefühlt habe vor 15 Jahren. Das war wirklich eine aufregende Geschichte. Wie fühlst du dich damit? Well, to be honest, uh, Vlad, you know, it's a world title fight. And what? You know, it is what it is. It's an event, yes, for the fans. But this is personal between me and you. It's not, it's, when we go out there and fight in front of 50,000 or 100,000... Nothing or personal million, but business. No, it's, it isn't business I have for nothing me. personal no, it's very you. personal for pure, me, Vlad. Pure, yeah? It's a personal business. mission for me to rid, rid boxing of a boring person like you. I've just been falling asleep listening to your stupid speech. Oh, you hate there. the old men? Yeah, no, I don't hate old men, but listen, you listen, hate, you hate when the old being men. spoken to. Listen, yeah. listen, you ask the question and I will answer. Okay, please. Listen, personal business between me and thee. Understand? Yeah? I'm interested in all the titles, all them belts you've got on there. I'm interested in breaking your face in. That's what I'm interested in. Yeah? You're boring. I want to rid you out of the heavyweight division. Your jab and grab style, surely all of Europe wants to see you get beaten. And all of Europe and the rest of the world will see you get beaten. You have about as much charisma as my underpants. Zero. None. You know, you go on, you're a sports psychologist, you speak 37 different languages. But what? You're still a robotic person. You're still not fun and exciting to watch. I am the new blood in the division. You are an old man. You've got grey hair like my trainer and like my manager, you know. This is a young man versus an old man. You look old. You've got wrinkles in your face. I I'm not surprised. I'm not At surprised if you haven't had Botox as well, you know. It's, uh, it is what it is. You look old. Old guy, young, fresh guy. Old man. Listen, history does not lie. History says all old champions move over for the new ones. I am the new one. Is this man an ultimate specimen of a man? Is he a machine, a robot? No, he's blood, guts, and bone. Listen, is he better than all the great champions from the past? I think not. And all the great champions from the past are 39 years old, are over the hill, or on the decline rapidly. Listen, you are old in boxing terms at 39. Listen, are you better than Larry Holmes, Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, Joe Frazier? All the great champions from the past showed age and decline from your age. And especially when you have a young, fit, healthy lion chasing you around the ring with your jab and grab style, your three punch combinations, your one, two, and a hook, that is your full array of punches. That ain't good enough for somebody like me. You got you, the concept. You, 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 you got the concept. Of, you okay. are used of fighting guys, six, one, six, two, six, three. Jab, jab, hold. As you see against the small guys, I can dominate them like that easy. Chisora didn't land a punch on me last time. The guy you didn't fight twice because you were afraid, you know, when I had to I step in. I was scared to death. Yes, very scared. He gave your brother a good fight, but did he land a punch on me? No, because he's a small guy, you know. You ain't messing with a small guy. You ain't messing with a guy who's afraid of you. I don't look at you and I do, I'm not feared. I see a man, an old man, who's getting knocked out, you know. You have a chin like a piece of glass, and when I hit it, it's gonna explode like that glass against that wall. You know, what am I to be afraid of? A man who's had 25 title defenses against bums. If you really want to go into the boxing, let's talk heavyweights. Let's talk about all your opponents. Selected opponents by good management. Over the years, you have a big fan base in Germany and a big fan base in Ukraine, probably, or wherever you're from. But it doesn't really matter, because on the night, there's me and thee, you and me, El Mono, El Mono, in a boxing ring and your jab and grab style will not work against me. I'm very unpredictable, and psychologists and all educated people hate unpredictability. So right now, I'm already inside your mind. How's that for psychology? Very good. I told you he's entertaining. I told you. Well, if I wasn't entertaining, the people of Germany would be bored because listening to you all day is Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. So great to be here. 47 different languages. And what? The guy's an old champion. He's getting knocked out. Listen, 
Manchester United have just signed uh, Bastian Schweinsteiger over to Manchester. I might just come over here and base myself out of Germany. Who knows? You know, after I've knocked you out, take your TV contract, because it won't be hard. If the German TV are interested in you, they're going to be excited and over-imaginable wanting me, somebody who can talk, someone who's good-looking, somebody who's young, you know. <laughs> You are what you are. You're an old... You're not even a big heavyweight. Let's have it. Look at the size of you. All right, he's six foot five, one meter 98, but I guarantee if you don't train for, for so long, you go down to 200 pounds. You're not even a heavyweight. You know, the first time I actually met you face-to-face -face was in, uh, in your training camp in Austria in 2010, and I expected this great guy, this great champion. And what did I find? A man with a pair of boxing gloves on, throwing jabs and one-twos and whatever. The same thing over and over again. Nothing. And I went away from that, that training camp with pure confidence in the fact that you are nothing. Remember that. You are nothing. And you are getting knocked out. You can, you can have as many idiots on that television as you want. All them stupid Americans who's got no gas. They run out of steam after five rounds. You know, it's, it's noted fact that you take these American guys about four, five, six, seven rounds and they fall, they run out of ideas, run out of energy. But I have the American style with the European conditioning and fitness. So that equals you're fucked, you're in trouble. Basically. Tell me more trouble. how much you hate me. Tell me more. I don't hate you. You need to I get under I, my skin. I don't hate you. Make it personal. It is personal. Very personal. Listen, it may be about business for you and them, them cheap suits that you're wearing, because it doesn't even fit you. Um, <laughs> but for me, it ain't about business, it ain't about world champion belts, it ain't about money. Listen. This is about a fight between you and me. And I don't care about all the fights. I don't care about going down in history. I don't care about being a role model. And I couldn't give a fuck what anybody thinks about me, to be honest. I care about beating you. That's all I care about. And when I go to sleep every night, I see your ugly face before I go to sleep. And I dream about knocking your head off every time. Listen, you can't even compare me. And how dare you mention my name in the same sentence as David Hay. David here is a bitch, a pussy, who wouldn't even fight me two times. But yet he got in the ring and he took you 12 rounds, and messed, the, messed about, stunk the full joint out, and you didn't do nothing. What did you do? Nothing. Against the guy who was too afraid to get in the ring and even fight me. Made a million excuses. What, what are you? What are you? You're a small man and you're getting chinned. Bestätigt. Thijs Vuren braucht einen Therapeuten. <laughs> Lass uns bitte die Therapie beginnen. Maybe it, it, I'll hire you to be my therapist after the fight because you'll be out of a job, mate. It was, yeah, it was I'll done. I'll give you a job. It was done. You can come Let's and work the for me as my begin. psychologist. Also nach dem Kampf kannst du bei mir als Therapeut anfangen. You can teach me how to be a champion like you after I've knocked you out. Übrigens, uh, das ist zu Journalisten. Ihr müsst wissen, was man fragen muss. Also, ich bin schon als erfahren, ich habe schon ganz oft erlebt, aber wenn er dann so ruhig sitzt, dann muss ich dann rangehen. Toll. So, this for the journalists, you have to learn how to ask the right questions. I to don't, fire I don't ask question. the questions, I just no, answer In them. your opinion, they're as boring as me. Listen, they didn't ask I'm here questions. to entertain. I ain't here to make people go to sleep like you. Listen, I don't know the answer to all your questions, but the one thing I do know the answer for is this clit is getting licked on October the 24th. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Therapeutische Behandlung ist schon unterwegs. Der Plan funktioniert. Man muss erst mal die Person aufmachen. I'm saying, I'm saying that um, you know, it's it's the opening. It's a good opening. You know, you you you're opening up. It's good. It's good for the therapy because we already started. If you don't feel it, I guess you didn't. But it's okay. You know, it's important. I really wish you the best, and I really wish you fast healing, you know, fast healing. Sometimes it takes a little longer, sometimes not, but uh, I'm, I'm not confident right now it's gonna do, you know, that well, but I'll, I'll really, really find out the right plan for that, so. You know, I hope fine. it's been very be educational for yourself, uh, Vladimir, because you can maybe take some notes off of my uh, speeches and write them down and try and uh, copy them in your own. Maybe you'd be a bit more exciting then. Also von mir kannst du lernen, nicht so langweiler zu sein. Dann 